Well, uh, right now we're trying to get really um, increase our brand awareness across the Americas. Um, Print is a really, really well established brand here in Europe, which is which is great. And uh, luckily, we have a, a really strong base of customers that were are beginning to grow in the in the market in the Americas. Um, we have great software partners with Informatica, Hybris, Riversand, Canto, and uh, and others. So that that is certainly easing our way into the market in the U.S. But it's really right now a focused marketing effort to increase awareness that there is a new way of doing print publishing. Well, it, it, it's funny because as we've been talking to people, you know, everyone is, oh, print. <laughs> you know, what, what's going on in the world of print? Is print still relevant? And the answer and the facts are saying that print is actually back on a growth, growth pattern. It, it's, it's funny when you talk to people um, in larger companies, digital departments are getting all of these cool new social media and other kind of marketing tools. And the print publishing folks are still using processes that in some cases are 15 or 20 years old. And when we're talking their language about print publishing and kind of a new way of doing it through automation, and which dramatically reduces production time and error rates, people get really, really excited. Um, and it's, you know, like I said, there's been so much focus in the last couple of years on digital that print's kind of the forgotten, forgotten medium that mm -hmm. Even in America. Even in America. Um, you know, one of the examples I use if, is if you look at, you know, large circulation publications, the, uh, the third largest publication in the U.S. now, the third largest circulated publication in the U.S. now is actually a magazine put out by a retailer called Costco Wholesale Club. And, you know, obviously if a company like Costco is, invent is investing in a entire mag basically a magalog where it's magazine with tips but also certainly you know an awful lot of print advertising that uh, you know there is an awful lot of value to be had with print still even as a you know print is still an excellent medium to generate impulse and do brand marketing um, in a lot of ways print doesn't get the credit I think it deserves um, you know the digital teams like to say well we're getting all this great traffic from Google and Google's generating all these leads for us and all this traffic to our website. But if you back that up a little bit and look at what's inspiring people to type that company's name in Google, a lot of times you can trace that back directly to print. Uh, it's that, that's kind of what we specialize in. As, as I was saying, that you know, a lot of times companies' print publishing processes are still very, very manual, and they haven't changed much over the last you know 15 years or, or so. And so, what we're able to do is introduce a new new way of doing things by connecting kind of the creative to the enterprise data that is needed, um, and being able to automate that process. So. Currently, a lot of people spend a lot of time copying and pasting from data systems and Excel spreadsheets into their InDesign documents and their creative publications. By giving the creative person the tool to be able to reach directly into those systems and automatically generate layouts and pages, you're able to take production cycles way, way down. And at the same time you're reducing those production cycles, you're also dramatically reducing the error rates. Um, kind of one of the other benefits is that when you're connecting to these systems in more of a real-time way than versus a cut and paste, you're able to publish much more current information. In fact, one of the features of the print suite even is when you go and finally hit the publish button, um, all the data fields that you're using in your publication will come up with little green or red flags. And if it's green, it means that the data matches what's in the, the source system or your gold standard. If there's a red flag, that means something's been updated. So, you know, whereas before, you'd have no idea if what you were actually publishing was the most up-to-date information. Print Suite really gives, you know, great flexibility to the marketer to make sure that you're publishing accurate and timely information. Sure. 
um, you know, we've kind of grown up, if you will, being known as kind of being able to publish from PIM or product information management systems. What we're doing now is expanding that, saying not only are we able to publish from a PIM kind of system, but what about digital asset management? What about ERP? What about CRM? What about you know, customer experience management or web content management? All of these data sources are often needed to feed today's modern day marketing publication. One of the unique features of the print suite is that we're able to simultaneously reach into multiple different data sources. So if I'm publishing a industrial catalog, you know, my product description might be in one system, my pricing might come from another system, my images may come from another system. And to the creative person, we make it very, very easy. You don't have to know, as a creative person in a marketing department, you're not gonna know very much about your company's ERP system. You just know that, hey, that's where the pricing comes from. Or you're not gonna know, you know much about a digital asset management system necessarily or a content management system. So by making that all invisible, we give the creative person the power to draw on that data without giving them the, the complexity that goes along with all of those multi-domain applications. Uh, well, we are, we are growing very, very rapidly. We're uh, adding staff and customers uh, each and every month. So um, we're going to continue strategic investments in the market. Um, the Americas is a very, very important growth market to, to the print group. So um, we're going to keep uh, expanding our brand recognition and awareness. You're going to see us at a, a lot of industry shows and talking with uh, a lot of uh, industry analysts. We're, we're signing up new software partners all the time as we expand that multi-domain strategy, continuing to acquire new software partners and new implementation partners is very important to us. So that's where, uh, that's where my efforts are going to be focused over the next 12 to 18 months.